Hey everyone, it's a two-a-day Tuesday, and you know what that means. Well, you don't yet, but you will because it's a thing that's gonna happen today, and maybe eventually later, I don't know, it depends on things. So, this week we are talking about gifts of the, pr of the present type that are Christmas-like. Because I'm good with words. Um, so, if you guys want to differentiate between gifts given and gifts received, that's totally okay and actually kind of awesome, so yay for you. I'm just going to talk about gifts that were given to me because I'm selfish and self-absorbed. So, um, I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm going to stop that right now. Okay. <laughs> Last year during Christmas, my parents were kind enough to give me a season pass to Disneyland. And by season, I mean year. And it was very nice of them because I was going to buy one for myself and it was going to be, like, be the lowest. So it would have the least amount of days you could go because there's block out dates where you can go, but it costs $40. So yeah, blah, 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 blah. They got me a, a deluxe pass and oh God, it was amazing. I loved it. It was um, an amazing year. I got to go to Disneyland like 10 times and it, ugh, those passes really pay for themselves. So if you live in California, or Southern California more specifically, it's good to have in your possession. So, um, said it. Anyway, uh, I've been getting emails the past month saying, hurry and renew your passport or your, your season pass. You only have 30 days before it expires. You only have 10 days until it expires. You only have seven days until it expires. And every time I see one of those emails, my heart dies a little bit on the inside, and I don't know if I'll get a new one because I have a job now, and so I don't have a lot of time to go down south and go to Disneyland. So, yeah, um, that's probably the greatest gift I've ever gotten ever. Um, but there's another present that always sticks out in my mind because my parents are evil beings sometimes. <laughs> um, I was in middle school. And I asked for this five disc CD changer big stereo thing and then I s saw that my parents bought it because they, ha they hid it behind the dining room table and that wasn't a very good hiding spot. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to get it, you know? So that Christmas day comes and I'm looking at all the presents, you know, kind of scavenging and scouting out who got more and stuff like that because I was in middle school. And there was one present that was really, really big and it was in like a big trash Christmas trash bag. So I was like, okay, that's mine. And so it comes time to open that gift and I go to open it. My dad's like, wait, wait, wait. I don't know who this is from, but it doesn't say who it's to either. So we're going to let the kids, meaning my little brother and little sister, open it. And I sat there and I was just like, you're going to let them open my present? Thanks, dad. And they open it and it's a karaoke machine. I was crushed because I knew I saw it. I was like, what did I do wrong? Did I do something bad? Did my parents take it back? I was just sitting there in total, utter disbelief, and I was so sad, and I wanted my five disc CD changer stereo thing, and then my dad looks at me, he cracks a smile, goes behind the dining room table, and brings it out. And I felt like such a dumbass. So. That is my stories, story, compilation of stories for the week. Um, hope you enjoyed them. If you would like to share with us, Nerdfightification, some stories of your own, feel free to in the comments or a video response because those are nice and lovely and yeah. Okay. Um, TJ, I will see you tomorrow, and as always, everyone, DFTBA.